Hello there. Today I'm going to be making the a single crochet, an alternating single crochet hand towel for you. Um, I'm doing this part after I've made my hand towel, so most, most of my yarn is gone. But I just wanted to show you I'm using 100% cotton. I'm using white for this hand towel. You can use whatever color you like. And I use an H hook, which is five millimeters. So that's what you need as well. You're going to need a yarn needle for weaving in the ends and scissors for cutting it off at the end of the work. And then we're making this beautiful um, alternating single crochet hand towel today. And um, I hope you enjoy it. It's easy to follow along with. So join me in making this beautiful hand towel. Thank so this you. hand towel is going to be 14 inches by 20 inches. So as with all our crochet projects, we're going to be starting, at, well, not all of them because some do have a magic loop. We're going to have a slip knot, okay? So I like to wrap it around twice, put the yarn over, and then the yarn over again, and then I hit my hook in there, and there's my slip knot, okay? So we are going to be chaining 43. So put the yarn over and pull it through, and I recommend you don't chain really tight because that'll pull in the end of, the, of your towel. Okay, one, two, three, wrap it over, pull it through, wrap it over, twist your hook and pull it through. So we're gonna work until we have 43 chains and I will meet you at the end, okay? See you at the end of 43. And I do have a beginner crochet tutorial showing you how to make a slip knot, showing you how to do chains if you're an absolute beginner, okay? So go check that tutorial out before you start your hand towel. So I have 41, 42, and 43, okay? So now what we're going to do is we are going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So that's the first chain from the hook, and this is the second one. So we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook, and into each of the chains we are going to make a single crochet. So you look at the chain, and you put your hook straight in. You're not putting the yarn over. Put the hook straight in, yarn over, and pull it up. There's two, and then yarn over, pull it through the two. That's a single crochet. So we are going to single crochet into each chain going across, and that means we will finish off having made 42 chains, okay? So I'd like to meet you at the end when we've all got 42 single crochets on our 42 chains, okay? We always lose a stitch when we do this. So here we are, we have our 42 single crochets. And to count your single crochets, you're just, you're just going to be looking at these little Vs that are at the top. There's your first one. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each V is a stitch, nine, 10, 11, 12. So count across, you will have 42. Now that's setting us up for our special little uh, stitch that we're gonna be doing. So we chain one to get up to the next row and turn our work, okay. And now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be single crocheting right into the first stitch. And then we're gonna sort of look at the top here And on the next stitch, not going through both of them like we would, oh dear, I keep going off camera, like we would there, we're just gonna go into the back one and do a single crochet. That's called back loop only single crochet, right? Now the next one, we're gonna go through them both. So you'll have two, they call them legs, okay, on there. And then on the next one, we're going to go right into the back, not the front, the back of that V, yarn over, pull it up, and do your single crochet. That's a back loop. Then we're gonna go through both of them. That's just a regular single crochet. And we're gonna alternate that all the way along to the end. We'll be ending with a back loop only because that's the way it works. Regular back loop, regular back loop, regular back loop, all the way along. Okay, and I'll see Here you. we are at the end, and I do have an actual video tutorial for left and right-handed people on how to do the back loop only double crochet. So if you want to check out that tutorial, I will actually maybe put a link in it in the description below. So we're doing a back loop, and then a regular one, and then right into that last stitch, 
you find that back loop and you do your single crochet, you chain one and you turn. And from now on, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to, it looks like this has got stained. We're going to do a regular crochet, single crochet into the first one, and then a back loop. Regular, and then a back loop, and then a regular. And so each of the rows from now on are going to end with a back loop only single crochet and start with a regular single crochet. And that you're going to do that until you have a total of, let me see how many rows, 62 rows. And then after your row 62, you're going to chain one and be doing a single crochet row. And I'll be showing you how to do the trim. So I'll see you at the end of your 62 rows of alternating single crochet stitches, okay? So here we are, I have got my um, 62 rows done and I'll show you how we count. This is the alternating single crochet pattern and each of these little grooves here, that's two single rows, alternating single row stitches where we're going into a regular single crochet then into the back loop only single crochet so okay so we're going to count 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 2 4 6 8 30 2 4 6 8 40 2 4 6 8 50 that's 50 rows 2 4 6 8 60 rows and then our last two rows are here. So what we're going to do to finish off um, this towel, we are going to, because we started out on this beginning, we remember we did our chain and then we did a whole row of single crochets to set that up. We're going to do a single crochet row right at the end here. So I'm just going to turn the work here and chain one. This is our last row here, and we're just going to go into that first row, uh, stitch, sorry, single crochet. And single crochet into each of the stitches across. Some of them will be back loop only ones, some of them will be single crochet ones. Okay, and we're going to go into each of those stitches across and single crochet all the way across and then I'll show you how we're going to do the trim it's a really it's just single crochet and we're only doing trim down the sides because we've already got a single crochet row at the beginning of the towel and we've got a single crochet row now for the last row of the towel so we're just going to have to be going down the sides so I'll meet you at the end so here we are at the end we're going to do our last two single crochets right into that corner and we should have 42 single crochet stitches running right across the top of our hand towel. Now we're not going to fasten off, we're just going to turn our work and we are going to start to work down the side of the hand towel, okay? And you'll see all these little bumps at the end of each row. So at the end of each row, so each of these little dips here, that's two rows, right? So we're going to go do a, a single crochet into each end of the row okay so this is going to be the first row here single crochet we're not going to chain three for the corner or anything we're just going to go straight down and then go into the next one that's two and now we've got two here one two and just go into the end of each row as you go down they're all a little bit different at the end of the rows. But this just kind of unifies the end so you've got a really nice end. I'll, I'll do a few and I'll show you what it looks like. Let's pull it looser so you can see. This is how it's going to be looking going down the side of your towel. So go all the way down to the end where you reach this end and we'll stop there. Okay. So here I am at the end. So I'm going to go into this, this one. Sorry. There. Do a single crochet 
and then right into the corner do a single crochet And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to join it with a slip stitch into the first chain there that we have there at the bottom. And then we're going to fasten that off. And weaving that end later. So I'm now I'm just going to go straight across here because this was all single crochets, remember, into that chain, the beginning foundation chain. And we're going to reattach our yarn here in this corner to do the other side okay so i'm just putting it right into that last little hole there for that stitch and i'm going to pull it through okay and ch chain one and then i'm just going to do a single crochet right into that same row and then into the next one and do a single crochet working down making one single crochet into the end of each row okay oops <laughs> here we go there and into this one into this one and into this one all the way down to the end. Cotton sometimes is a bit stiff to work with. And then when we get to the end, we're just going to slip stitch into the top of the first stitch there and cut it off. And we can weave in the ends, okay? So I've got my yarn needle and Thread it. We're just going to weave the stitches. I'm going to go back and through these double crochets here. Single crochet, sorry. Not a double crochet in sight on this project. go in and out and try and go in two or three different directions especially like with a hand towel or a dishcloth it's going to get a lot of use right be wringing it out and doing all kinds of stuff with it so it'll be washed a lot so we want to make sure that it's not going to come untangled so we weave in our ends very very securely I really like this. It's, it's like a single crochet look, but it's got that texture with the um, back loop only stitches in there, right? So now we have the other end to do. Oh, oh I think I attached some yarn here. I don't know what happened there. Oh, it's where one finished, one row finished, and another row finished because we did our, tr our trim, right? So I'm not gonna take a lot of time showing you weaving in ends because I think you understand from what I've shown you and it just makes the video that much longer to upload. I am getting a new internet system coming. Hopefully the modem is should be here tomorrow and we should get a little bit faster Wi-Fi here on my little island right now it is really really it takes like four four hours to upload it like a 15 minute video it's ridiculous but that's what happens when you live on remote islands i guess i didn't think it was that remote it's only an hour and a half on the ferry but we don't get the we haven't got the fiber optic cable stuff that people have in big cities and we have so much peace and tranquility i'm not going to argue Okay, so we're going to weave in all the ends, and that will be our alternating single crochet hand towel. And I think it looks really pretty. I haven't woven in all the ends yet, but that's kind of what you get. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. If you liked it, please um, like it and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell if you want notifications of when I'm going live or when new videos are posted. Thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting.